Let us start May the grace of God be with you all those who want and remain to be biblical, but those churches which are not biblical are the ones who are boastful, proud, and very rebellious unto God that is why God should oppose them because they are not surrender to him their all. Those who should be saved must be added to the church which practice what is in Acts 2.42-47, then they should diligently do whatever God of heaven has commanded, then they are become house of God which is the gate of heaven, but if not they are synagogues mixed with poor and rich and they are gates of hell where people not knowingly if they died in the flesh they will go forever into hell and lake of fire which is their final destiny. Matthew 10 28 28, And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Who is this him that should be feared who can able to destroy both bodies and souls in hell? John 10 10 10, The thief cometh not, but for to steal, and to kill, and to destroy, I am come that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. Now you have an idea who is that him, but you can give suggestions and comments. But do not forget in the holy scriptures there is only one to be feared by all, and none other than God. Let us read, 1 Peter 2:17. Honor all men. Love the brotherhood. Fear God. Honor the king. Hebrews 12:29. 29. 29 For our God is a consuming fire. Revelation 14 7, 7, saying with a loud voice, Fear God, and give glory to him, for the hour of his judgment is come, and worship him that made heaven, and earth, and the sea, and the fountains of waters. Revelation 15 4, 4, Who shall not fear thee, O Lord, and glorify thy name? For thou only art holy, for all nations shall come and worship before thee, for thy judgments are made manifest. Ecclesiastes 12 13-14. 13 Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God, and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. 14 For God shall bring every work into judgment, with every secret thing, whether it be good, or whether it be evil. We therefore conclude that only true God whom over all should be feared. We can read also in the Holy Scriptures this, James 4.12 There is one lawgiver, who is able to save and to destroy, who art thou that judgest another? We have an idea already that God is able to destroy, so in that verse we know again in the Holy Scriptures that God is also the only lawgiver. To support this, we should read also, Isaiah 33.22 For the Lord is our judge, the Lord is our lawgiver, the Lord is our king, he will save us. Even though we know that in hell their worm dies not and fire that cannot be quenched, but God must be feared compared to them, so that we will avoid hell where souls and bodies are destroyed their dot for our God is a good God, very gracious, full of compassion, and he will forgive us abundantly. So we should avoid hell that is what our Lord Jesus Christ very desires for us. Mark 9 47 to 48 47 And if thine eye offend thee, pluck it out. It is better for thee to enter into the kingdom of God with one eye, than having two eyes to be cast into hell fire. 48 Where their worm dieth not, and the fire is not quenched. But the false prophet and false preachers portray God as a very good God even though without repentance and turning away from iniquities. He is still love even though almost all are not knowing his law through Moises, all prophets, and of course our Lord Jesus Christ. They have denied these verses that Lord Jesus Christ did these in this grace period. John 7 49 But this people who knoweth not the law are cursed. But according to John 7 19 that law is about given through Moises, John 7 19 Did not Moses give you the law, and yet none of you keepeth the law? Why go ye about to kill me? Then they have answered falsely with blasphemous accusations. John 7 20 to 21 20 The people answered and said, You have a devil, who goeth about to kill you. 21 Jesus answered and said unto them, I have done one work, and ye all marvel. 
And in, Mark 11:21, and Peter calling to remembrance saith unto him, Master, behold, the fig tree which you cursed is withered away. Where in fact that cursed evil fig is symbolized those who do not hear the word of God through the prophets. Jeremiah 29 17-19, 17 Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will send upon them the sword, the famine, and the pestilence, and will make them like vile figs, that cannot be eaten, they are so evil. 18 And I will persecute them with the sword, with the famine, and with the pestilence, and will deliver them to be removed to all the kingdoms of the earth, to be a curse, and an astonishment, and an hissing, and a reproach, among all the nations whither I have driven them. 19 Because they have not hearkened to my words, saith the Lord, which I sent unto them by my servants the prophets, rising up early and sending them, but ye would not hear, saith the Lord. And we know truly that Lord Jesus Christ is much greater than Moises and the prophets. We can read, John 5 19-23-19 Then answered Jesus and said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, The Son can do nothing of himself, but what he sees the Father do. For what things soever he does, these also does the Son likewise. 20 For the Father loveth the Son and sheweth him all things that himself doth, and he will show him greater works than these, that ye may marvel. 21 For as the Father raiseth up the dead, and quickeneth them, even so the Son quickeneth whom he will. 22 For the Father judgeth no man, but hath committed all judgment unto the Son. 23 That all men should honor the Son, even as they honor the Father. He that honoureth not the Son honoureth not the Father which hath sent him. Philippians 2 5-11 5 Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. 6 Who, being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God. 7 But made himself of no reputation, and took upon him the form of a servant, and was made in the likeness of men. 8 And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself, and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. 9. Wherefore God also hath highly exalted him, and given him a name which is above every name. 10. That at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, of things in heaven, and things in earth, and things under the earth. 11. And that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. But in this grace period again, what is terrified truth that will happen to every one of us if we neglect or not hear the word of our Lord Jesus Christ, Acts 3.23 And it shall come to pass, that every soul, which will not hear that prophet, shall be destroyed from among the people. Almost all nowadays have no time or no desire at all to hear the word of Christ that is why they, those souls, should be destroyed among the people. We have known already that Christ is more than a prophet. That is why greater are their damnation specially if you know the truth and neglect them. We should be biblical because it means being humbled ourselves before God Almighty as studied in my previous videos, then we can transgress the devil and he will flee from us. God bless forever for all those who are added in the true church which pass the standard of God to be his house. They should be saved by grace, especially if those who died as martyrs for Christ. But if they go through many tribulations then they will enter also into the kingdom of God where they shall shine forth as the sun, peace and eternal good reward be with you all forever.